Now, we wanted to hear from the people on the front lines about this issue, those responsible for keeping your kids safe, school resource officers. Bianca, you sat down with some from Manatee County. Yes, Reggie, and one of my biggest takeaways from this conversation with SROs is that they're very aware of their responsibility. Mm -hmm. I mean, ever since the tragedy in Parkland, we've been talking a lot about SROs. They say they've been calming fears, reassuring students and their parents that they're there to keep them safe. Now, they are also glad to see that they are finally getting some of the resources and support that they've been asking for. These are things they've been asking for since way before what happened in Parkland. They're finally getting more officers in schools, more security measures in schools, and even more weapons. By the end of the summer, every SRO will have, you know, an, basically an M16, which is an AR-15 equivalent, a military weapon. So that is not entirely new. Mm -hmm. Some SROs already have M16s, but now every officer in Manatee County mm -hmm. in a school will have one. Now, are they concerned that this would lead to the militarization of officers in public schools? They told me no, because they wouldn't be walking around on campus with them. They're going to have them stored away, but accessible in case they need to use them. Now, when it comes to arming school personnel, this is what they said. Personally, I don't want staff to have guns. Do you feel like that job should be left up to you? Yeah. Teachers are there to teach. They're not, they have enough to worry about with teaching. They don't have, I don't think they would be very effective with another thing on their plate to worry about. You know, that's interesting because Manatee County school officials have said that they're also against arming school personnel. Yeah, and remember that Florida legislation left it up to the county, so it is up to them. We're gonna have more of the conversation I have with the SROs tonight on 10 News Nightside.